More than a week after Councilman Jeff Tack died in an apparent suicide, residents of Ward 5 are mobilizing to make sure that their voices are heard. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Brandon Johansson. City Council members are beginning the process to file Tack's vacant seat as volunteers gather signatures for a possible special election. 23 ABC's Andrew Worth is live with us now in Southwest Bakersfield with more. Andrew. Brandon, this is just one of the many neighborhoods here in Southwest Bakersfield where volunteers today went door to door, knocking on those doors, asking for residents to sign a petition. That petition hoping to start a special election. All day, volunteers combed the streets. Hi, I'm volunteering with the re-election committee. Of Southwest Bakersfield, a petition in hand no one thought they'd ever have to sign. That's what I've been doing all day is collecting signatures of registered voters in Ward 5. Two months ago, Jeff Tack was elected to preside over Ward 5. Now volunteers are asking for the public's help again. One individual today said, I know the Jeff Tack family uh, and I just can't get involved so soon because the wound is still fresh. But nonetheless, they have been very... Uh, emotional and yet have signed the petition still. As the door opens, Kemp explains the two options. Doing now is we're uh, going around to Ward 5 residents like yourself. A special election for the ward or the council appointing someone. All right, and then you put your sign below. He believes signing to have a special election is the better option. I just think that uh, it's something that everybody um, in Bakersfield will benefit from is if we have good leadership on the city council. Kemp is just one volunteer helping to collect the 4,700 needed signatures. I suppose he doesn't want to answer the door. Knowing every so often he'll get turned away. Some people just seem very uninterested. I mean, whether it's about the cost or uh, just saying that, uh, well, we just had an election, so why should we have another one? He also knows every knock on the door is another potential signature, bringing them one step closer to their goal. I strongly encourage you know everybody here to push for a special election, regardless of what the costs are going to be, because the outcome would hopefully be worthwhile because it would be somebody who would who would you who, would, who you would want. Now, if organizers do not get all of the needed signatures that they need to start this special election, the city council will have to appoint a new city council member. And if maybe you're looking for a little bit more information on this special election, or maybe if you didn't get a knock on the door, you can go to the Memorial Southwest Memorial Library tomorrow around 2 o'clock, and that's where organizers say they're going to be, and they can answer any questions you may have. Live in Southwest Bakersfield, Andrew Worth, 23 ABC. A local community group was out in front of the Southwest Library to get the city council to hold a special vote for former council member Jeff Tack seat. The Central Labor Council and community members say they do not want the seat to be appointed. Instead, they want to have another election. You guys do have a point. We want to vote. We don't want somebody to tell us, you know, who should be our elected. Uh, so people are joining us when we go to the doors. They're asking how they can help. Other council members have also stated that they feel an election would be the best course of action. The coalition is hoping that they can get the required number of signatures for their petition. With the recent death of Bakersfield City Council member Jeff Tack, members of the community continued to gather signatures to fill the five ward seat through a special election. This weekend, people have been at the Southwest Branch Library on Ming Avenue and going out to the Ward 5 community to get so those signatures for a special election. According to the Central Labor Council, the mandated amount of signatures will be about 4,700. In order for someone to sign the petition, they must be a registered voter living within Ward 5. For those that say that this election may cost too much, I would remind them that you cannot put a price on democracy. And if you start selling your vote out now, uh, where will it end? Rob England says they will continue to be at the Southwest branch until the deadline. That deadline is less than four weeks to gather signatures of Ward 5 voters. If the deadline is not met or there are not enough valid signatures, the city council would decide how to fill that seat.